I just got a new update from Tesla. This is version 2020 12.6, which adds traffic light and stop sign control. It's a beta version, so um, let's go out and test it out. So what this new feature does is when in cruise control or autopilot, it will automatically stop for stop signs or traffic lights. So here we go. I'm not stopping the car here. And there we go. All right, here we go. So we got a green light. So since it's in beta, it will already start to come to a stop for every light, not just red or green lights. So when that happens, you just have to give it a little acceleration to go through the light. We'll do an automatic lane change here. So now we got this green light coming up. And we have to give it a little acceleration to go through. So we'll go ahead a few red lights here. All right, let's try this red light here. And stopped automatically. So here it's sensing the green light, it's gonna slow down. And then we'll just give it a little acceleration to go ahead and go through that. Here we've got a red light. It's already read it. I don't know, so it says stopping for traffic control. It doesn't say stopping for red light or green light because it's going to start stopping for any light. Here comes another light. Automatically stopped. Of course, it's not going to automatically start again. If you were on the road cruise control, if you came to a stop and the cars moved, it would start moving again, but it's not going to with this. But all you got to do is lightly, lightly tap the accelerator and um, cruise control should take off again. Yep, there we go. I'm not on autopilot here, I'm just on cruise control. And here we stop for a crosswalk. So if we didn't want that, we would just give a little, uh, just a minor tap of the accelerator. Now, of course, this is not just stopping for a light, it's cruise control stopping for a car. But even when the car went, it still wanted to stop for the light, so <clears throat> I had to give it a little tap. That was for the car it stopped. Cruise control. Now it's reading this light. If it was green, I would have just given it a little accelerator. I give it a little tap of the accelerator and cruise control, control will start again. So it's starting to slow down here. I just give it a little tap of the gas and then it will go through. Again, the big drawback here is in this uh, beta version, it uh, when you select for this feature to be on, it will only go the speed limit. So that's not very practical at all. I think I can show you that here under navigation, autopilot. See, there you go, traffic control, traffic light and stop control. So I have that on. If I had that off, then I could still use my autopilot or my cruise control without it wanting to stop for 
all the lights or um, limit me to going the speed limit. So, you know, we're not, most of us aren't going to be doing much driving uh, limited to the speed limit. And let's see if it's going to find this stop sign. It's kind of hidden. So there was one where it's not going to work. If you can't see a stop sign, it's not going to work. It's already picked up the light. And brought us to a stop. So I'm just on cruise control now. Seems to be adding autopilot option more often now with this, where in the city it's been pretty limited to use autopilot. So it's read the light, we're not quite there yet. Uh, it read the car, so when the car goes, it'll start going, but then it'll want to stop for the light again. So I'm going to have to talk, tap the accelerator a little, and I didn't like that at all. Again, this is the first beta. It's uh, kind of a big step. This is what autopilot has worked really well out on the highway. Um, but not in the city because of this problem with traffic lights and stop signs. So 